This is Lisa Balsarek from IMTS TV here with Don Lane from Makino to introduce the new Athena voice activated control for machines. Don, please tell us more about Athena. Well, brand new technology that we think is so valuable, we hope, to shop owners um, that have been telling us they need to have these machines be much easier to run. Um, that gives the shop owner the ability to uh, hire new people in and get them up quickly. And in order to do that, we believe uh, that we're following a, a pretty clear trend in the world that voice interoperability is important. As you know, people are talking to their phones and they're talking to all kinds of very simple uh, appliances. But we've had the opportunity to work very hard to bring that technology to the complexity of machine tools. Athena, tool change, tool five. Are you sure you want to change to tool five? Athena, yes. Changing to tool five. And with the work that we're doing, we think we are going to be simplifying uh, greatly the operability of these machines by having very clear voice um, communication going back and forth between the operator and the machine. So the operator can make an inquiry on the machine to do something, and the machine can then understand that voice command, understand the context of the voice command, and then execute those things. It will also allow the operator to ask the machine to display material or to display knowledge that hasn't been easily and readily available for the operator at this point in time. So it's, we think, revolutionary technology. We're also um, very proud of the fact that we're doing this at IMTS. With all the things that are going on in manufacturing in the United States, um, we're a big supporter of IMTS and we made the decision to introduce this technology here because of we want to help bring manufacturing back to the U.S. and enabling operators to do that and enabling shop owners to invest and bring this technology in and get it productive very quickly on their floor is something we think is very, very important. We do think that Athena will help um, in a situation where there's a lot of uh, operator interaction with the machine. Uh, rather than long production runs where the machine itself may stay in a production run for a long period of time, it's not probably as beneficial to have the voice interoperability to it. But if there's a lot of setup, there's a lot of changeover, there's a lot of new things going on, um, it, we think it would be important. And when, But I can tell you the inquiries that we've had from significantly large companies to small companies have been broad-based because people are saying, you know, I have a variety of machines on my floor. Um, this Athena technology is designed, even though we're the first um, uh, user of the technology and we're implementing it, uh, honestly, we're hopeful that it spreads through the machine tool industry so that we as an industry can help uh, the user in this country uh, become much more productive. And if you think about it from a, an owner's point of view or a shop, uh, point of view, they will have a variety of machines on the floor. That means they have to have an operator be uh, trained on each machine, which is different. It's very difficult to do and it, and it uh, uh, creates a lot of cost and a lot of inefficiencies. If Athena could be broadly based and the design of it is s such that it could be, uh, where you could take this computer and plug it into a, a Makino machine and it understands the Makino machine, unplug it, walk over with the headset and plug it into a different machine and be able to speak to that machine the same way the efficiencies that one operator can have going from machine to machine in a shop is quite dramatic. That was Don Lane from Makino talking about the new Athena voice activated control for machines. From IMTS-TV, this is Lisa Belserich.